Hi there students. In today's Excel lecture, we are going to talk about the various components of Microsoft Excel. Basically, all your Microsoft Office products are going to have the same ribbon on the top, or at least your Microsoft Office suite. So you've got your Home tab, your Insert tab, Page Layout tabs. Basically, these tabs are giving you all the additional functionality. Excel has its own unique features. So some of these we are going to discuss for this lecture. One of these is the name box. Your name box tells you where you are in your Excel spreadsheet. So as you can see, as I click from cell to cell, it changes in my name box. I will talk about our formula bar in a bit. You'll notice also you've got your columns coming down vertically. You've got your rows going across horizontally. Your intersection between your rows and your columns are your cells. The cell with the black square around it is known as your active cell, and it tells you where you currently are in your Excel spreadsheet. Your bar at the bottom is known as your status bar. On your extreme right of your status bar, you've got your view buttons, which we will talk about in another lecture. You've got your zoom button, which actually makes your cells bigger or smaller if you want to view them. It won't actually print out bigger or smaller. It's just for your own convenience. Additionally, you've got your mode indicator on your left hand side, which basically tells you what mode Excel is in. So currently it's in ready mode, meaning it's ready for information to be put into the spreadsheet. If I want to put information into any of my cells, all I have to do is double click on the cell I want to put information in. So I will type in Monday. If I want to edit Monday or change this, all I have to do is double click on it. And you'll notice your mode indicator is saying edit, which means the cell is going to be edited. And I can put in anything else that I would want to put in. To jump from cell to cell, I can use my mouse or I can use the arrow keys on my keyboard. I can even use my enter button. Okay, so I've put in the month January. If I go to this bottom black square, I'll notice my mouse pointer becomes a black cross. When it becomes a black cross and I hold it down and drag it, it fills in all my months of the year. When Excel does this, it is known as autofill. Okay. If I go to another cell and I type in Monday, if I click on Monday and go to this bottom right hand corner, and drag it, it fills in my days of the week. So that is autofill. If I want to make my columns wider, I take my mouse pointer to this line between A and B. When my mouse pointer becomes an arrow pointing in two directions like this, I can drag it just to make that a little bit bigger. Okay, so now I notice in this workbook, I've got one sheet. If I want to add another sheet, I just go over here where it says insert worksheet next to sheet one, and it's going to insert another worksheet. Now, if I want to put information from sheet one into sheet four, I will highlight the information that I want. I will then go to my home tab and click on my copy button. When these broken lines form around it, it shows that this is the information that I am copying to my next sheet. When I click on sheet four, I click on where I want the information in the sheet and I will make that my active cell. I will then click on paste and I notice that my information is now there. If I click on sheet one, my information is there still as well because copying is duplicating information. So your information is now in two different places. So if I highlight this bit of information here and I click on cut, 
I notice these broken lines are forming once again. I go to sheet 4, click on where I want the information to now be in sheet 4, click on paste, and now if I click on sheet 1, my information is not there anymore, it is now in sheet 4. Cutting is transferring information, copying is duplicating information. So know the difference between those two because those two differences are quite important, especially for probably your tests and your exams. So these are basically our components of Excel. I will talk about functions and formulas in our next few videos.